All right, so you guys have your hands on an NVIDIA graphics card, but most of you guys have probably not set it up correctly. And if you guys are new to NVIDIA, this is the only guide that you'll ever need to optimize your GPU and make sure that you're using 100% of it. Make sure to stick around till the end of this guide and follow all the steps. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. So first things first is open up your browser. On your browser, the first thing that you have to do is search for NVIDIA app. The first link will take you to the official website. Click on download now and download NVIDIA app for yourself. And once you open it up, you'll see a window just like that. I'm going to be maximizing it so that you guys can see it in a better way. Head over to the drivers tab and then you'll find the latest driver update over here you can simply click on check for update and see if a new driver is available if it is i'd recommend you guys to install it and restart your pc once head over to the settings and then you'll find nvidia overlay if your graphic card is relevantly new such as in the latest rtx series i would recommend you guys to keep it on and utilize it while you're playing the games but for most of you guys i would recommend you guys to disable it and turn it off because in most cases your pc does not utilize it and it is just an overlay service running in the background that you want to avoid for extra fps but before moving ahead i want to introduce you guys to hone which will help you to optimize your gpu and your pc with one single click all you have to do is come down to the link in the description below and download hone for absolutely free and once you open it up, you will be shown a window like this where you can see your CPU, GPU, RAM usage along with support, PC advisor, backup and Discord server. Head over to optimizations and under the general optimization, you have to scroll all the way down until you find the general NVIDIA optimization, NVIDIA HDCP, disable power saving features, optimize network adopter settings, optimize NVIDIA control panel settings, optimize JPEG wallpaper quality and and disable windows insider you have to ensure that all of these are turned on and the last thing that you're gonna have to turn on over here is disable super fetch along with that they have multiple options to optimize your pc including basic optimizations general optimizations and advanced optimizations over here and if that is not enough under the boost up tab you guys will find a recommend hone nvidia driver which will help you to optimize and boost your gaming performance you can simply clean install your drivers right over here they have a list of multiple PC optimization tools such as scan and fix drive errors, clean discord cache, scan and fix system errors, own stream cleaner and other things that you can use to optimize the performance of your PC. And if that is not enough, they also have a game section where it will automatically detect all of the games installed on your PC and you guys can simply select those games and click on best performance over here, select activate preset and apply all of the best presets for that game to run on max performance. This is insane guys. Hone has tons of features that you guys can download and check it out for yourself. I have left a free download link to hone.gg right in the description below. That is it for the Nvidia app. All of the other changes that we are going to be doing up ahead in the video will be from Nvidia control panel. If you do not have Nvidia control panel already, simply search for Microsoft store and over here you can simply search for nvidia control panel you'll find it over here simply select it and download it i have already installed it so simply click on the open button now this is very very important the first page that you're going to be landing on is this one that is adjust image settings with preview select use advanced 3d image settings and then click on take me there it will take you to manage 3d settings for the global settings you'll have to disable image scaling ambient occlusion for anisotropic filtering, go with application control. Anti-aliasing off, gamma correction on, and anti-aliasing mode should also be set to application control. You will find background application max frame rate. You're gonna have to set this thing to on and keep it to 30 FPS. This will make sure that if you have any graphic related software running in the background, it will limit it to 30 FPS if you are in a game. For CUDA GPUs, you have to select it from all and make sure that your primary graphic card is selected over here. For the SysMem fallback policy, you can keep it to driver default. Low latency mode should always be set to off. Max frame rate of monitor technology, you guys can go with G-Sync compatible if your monitor supports G-Sync. MFAA should be off. OpenGL GDI compatibility, set this thing to prefer performance. OpenGL rendering GPU. 
change this from auto select to your primary graphic card for the power management mode always select prefer maximum performance preferred refresh rate should be set to highest available for the shader cache size i would recommend you guys to go with 10 gb texture filtering off negative lod bias allow texture filtering quality set this thing from quality to performance over here or you guys can also go with high performance it works absolutely fine then for the trilinear optimization you want to have to set this thing to on for threaded optimization you guys have to set this thing to on over here as well triple buffering off vertical sync use 3d application settings and all of the other things over here should be set to default make sure to click on the apply button on the bottom right side then you're gonna have to head down to the third page that is configure surround and physics and for the processor you have to select your primary graphic card over here this is very important because for all of you guys who might have multiple graphics card that is your cpu based graphics as well as your gpu based graphics this single step will help you to prioritize your hardware graphics over your cpu based graphics then head over to display and select change resolution then all you have to do is select your primary monitor set the refresh rate to highest refresh rate possible over here and then for the color settings select use nvidia color settings and make sure that you are using the highest color depth and the output color depth it is 10 bpc for me but it can be 12 or 14 for you guys you can select the highest one over here for the output dynamic range make sure that this is set to full if that is available for you simply do the same for both of the monitors and once that is done click on the apply button and select yes then head over to the adjust desktop color settings and over here you'll find something called digital vibrance i'd recommend you guys to go ahead and set it up to 60 percent click on the apply button then click on adjust video color settings and select with nvidia settings here for the saturation go with 65 percent and click on apply this will make the colors appear in a more pop out format once all of that is done you can simply close your nvidia control panel the next step is actually cleaning up your shader cache and for that press your windows key and then you have to type in disk cleanup simply open it up and select your local disk c here make sure that you select the directx shader cache delivery optimization files recycle bin and temporary files make sure that all of these options over here are selected click on ok and select delete files this will clean up your pc and also clean up your directx shader cache which can be causing performance issues in games by re-rendering the shaders if all of that still didn't help you to optimize the performance of your nvidia gpu simply search for create a restore point and then search for your local disk c click on create and name it nvidia just so you can remember it i would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because the next step consists of changing the system files to optimize your performance simply click on close and close system properties the next step is downloading nvidia gpu optimization pack i will be leaving a link to this down in the description below for you guys to go and check it out here you'll find in six very simple folders the first one has batch tweaks in which i have left bcd tweaks which will help you to optimize the performance of your pc and reduce unwanted input latency you can simply edit it in notepad to see what are the changes that it is going to perform over here double click to apply both of them second folder here is nvidia gpu optimization in which i have left disable gpu power throttling along with prioritize nvidia gpu you guys can edit these registries in notepad to see the changes that it is going to do on your pc both of them helps you to prioritize the performance of your gpu and optimally use them for gaming simply double click and add them to your pc the third one over here is update directx this will help you to optimize the performance of your pc if you lack any directx installations or settings files double click on dx web setup and click on yes then select i agree the agreement then click on i accept the agreement hit next and uncheck the bing bar select next and then it will install the latest version of directx on your pc for those who don't know directx is a very important software slash drivers that you will need for gaming it will install the components from the web and update it on your pc if you haven't yet already have them the fourth folder here is visual c runtimes double click to open it up and i have left all of the vc redist files to run all of them at once simply right click and run this file as administrator and it will install all of these files on your pc it is also a very important step for gaming 
and not installing these files could be a performance issue on your PC as well. Fifth folder here is optional but it has disabled unwanted services where I have left all of these services running in the background of your PC which are absolutely useless and you do not want them. All you need to do is simply double click and run these registry files and this will disable those services. Except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, I would highly recommend you guys to disable every one of these services over here and once again by mistakenly if you have disabled anything, use the revert registry folder to turn them back on. The sixth folder here is programs in which I have left MS mode utility 3.0 right click and then run it as administrator this software helps you to set up the correct interrupt priority for your gpu all you have to do is find your graphic card in this list click on the msi button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high don't forget to click on the apply button over here and this will prioritize interrupts on a higher priority allowing your gpu to run the processes more smoothly once all of that is done, you can simply close the FPS pack and now you have to restart your PC and then you can do a performance check after all of these optimizations. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps you grow the channel. We are very close to 250,000 subscribers and your sub would be appreciated. I will see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.